The Institute for Priestly Formation, located in Omaha, Nebraska, in partnership with Spirit Catholic Radio, is pleased to present the Lenten Reflection Series, The Journey to Jerusalem. Join Father Mark Toops as he helps us walk with Jesus on his journey to Jerusalem. Saturday of the second week of Lent. My friends, welcome back to The Journey to Jerusalem as we conclude our resting in the 15th chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Today we read in Luke 15, 24, the triumphant words of the Father as he says, He was lost and has been found. Let's go back to the way that that scripture passage would have unfolded in this image that we've been resting in this week. Those on the outer fringe of the circle, those who were drawing near to Jesus, those who were hungry, those who were searching, they would have been speechless. The prostitutes, the thieves, the lepers, all those judged by society or judged by themselves would have stood speechless at Jesus' piercing love and mercy. The parable of the prodigal son comes to a triumphant apex as the father exclaims in Luke 15, 24, My son was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The son has been found. He was lost. He was restless. He was shackled in shame, yet he has been found. And there is no judgment from the father. There is no anger. There's no scorecard. There's only mercy. There's only love. The father rejoices that he has found his son. Father Larry Gillick is a wisdom-filled spiritual director, a member of the Jesuit community here in Omaha. His spiritual sight is perhaps heightened by his physical blindness. And he tells a story of getting lost one day while he was walking. He was walking in a neighborhood that was somewhat familiar to him, but uh, on this particular day, for whatever particular reasons, he just gets lost. Unable to see and lost, he does what every good Jesuit priest would do. He begins to pray. And as he prays, he hears the Lord tell him, sit down in the middle of the street. And to which Father Larry says to God, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. To which the Father responds back to Father Larry, put yourself in a position to be found. So Father Larry sits down in the middle of the street and he just waits. And sure enough, here comes a car right behind him. Now these things end really, really good or really, really bad. And this day it ended really, really good as the car drove up. They actually noticed Father Larry. They said, Father Larry, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm putting myself in a position to be found. They said, get in the car. So they get him in the car and they drove him back to his house. And as Father Larry is exiting the car and soon entering his house, he stops for a second and he realized that he just learned the most powerful spiritual lesson that he'll ever learn. That when we're lost and we can't see and we can't see our way out, stop trying to guide yourself and simply put yourself in a position to be found. Half of the spiritual battle is simply putting yourself in a position to be found. God wants to fall in love with you more than we could ever want to fall in love with God. However, a lot of us don't like our mess. A lot of us don't like our inadequacies. And when we listen to the voices of judgment accusing us in our inadequacies, we get restless. And we find ourselves just like the son in the story and the the parable. And when you feel lost in life, don't panic. When you feel lost in your inadequacies, don't panic. When you feel lost in your sin, don't panic. When you feel lost and you don't know how you're going to get out of a situation in life, my friends, don't panic. Simply put yourself in a position to be found. Stop running. Don't try to earn your way back to Jesus. Trust that this God of mercy is tirelessly calling you and is looking at you through his eyes and loving you. My friends, the truth of what Lent's all about is God is tirelessly calling you. He's pursuing you. And all you have to do is put yourself in a position to be found by God. For your prayer today, I would encourage you to pray with Luke 15, 11 through 24. Again, be with Jesus. Again, be there. Again, pay attention to your heart as you watch Jesus. And ask yourself, where do you feel lost? Where do you most need the Lord? And do you really trust that he will come and find you? 
and pray the following prayer with me as you pray with the scriptures today. Jesus, I ask for the grace today to hear the voice of truth. I beg you to teach me the truth about my lies that lead to restlessness. God bless you. To listen to today's reflection again, or to order a copy of the Journey to Jerusalem booklet with the daily readings, the website is www.priestlyformation.org. Join Father Mark Toops during this Lenten season as he helps us walk with Jesus on his journey to Jerusalem.